hey guys welcome right back to my channel it's sunita here as always if you're new you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber hi so in today's video i'm here to answer to a particular question and i i, I just feel like dedicating a whole video to this particular question so that other people can actually understand i made a video about sika papaya as well as glutacy but the glutacy review even came months before the silka papaya so the person actually said the papaya is good or the silka is good on her but then again she feels she wants to whiten up or lighten more than what the silka is actually doing okay that she was now asking me between glutacy and silka which one whitens better and which one should she how should she mix the silka if i get it i'm going to leave the question somewhere here so you guys can actually see what i'm talking about okay so i'm here to answer that question i pray this helps you in a way do not forget to like share and subscribe if this is your first time you're highly welcome okay <laughs> So first off, let's talk about Gluter C. Now, Gluter C is um, uh, a very nice cream that comes in. One, one thing I love about them is that it comes in one particular um, um, container or one particular color. But then again, if you're not careful enough, you will not identify the one that you should go for. Because we have the one that is made with kojic acid, which is the uh, four times... Um, intense white you know four times something like that it's super super active and then we have the one that is just um you know um intense whitening and we have the other one so like they have like four different variants of glutacy but if you don't know you may as well go and get the one that um is made with gojic um kojic acid or you may even get the one that because a lot of people who are using this glutacy the first one is good on them and then when they go using the second one they start complaining that they are not getting the same result this is why you want to be careful or look out for the one you bought first like read what you bought and then be sure to get the exact same one that you have gotten now what am i trying to say glutacy is a super active cream there's another one that comes in a very long jar and this other one that comes in a i don't know how to ex um, explain them but then again i'm going to leave them on the screen so you guys can actually see what i'm talking about or what i'm referring to okay so it's a super active um active cream it really really whitens and then you cannot for any reason compare it with silka silka is not a cream that you would want to get a super whitening with like it's not a cream that would give you that whitening whitening effect it's going to give you this lightning effect silka is actually made for people who are just getting started with the skincare lightning however even though you have been lightening your skin and then you don't want anything too serious again you don't want anything to shout you you don't want anything dramatic you can as well still set for silka just to maintain your skin tone now for silka it comes in two different variants i have uh, reviewed this product as well i'll try my best to put the cut somewhere so you guys can actually um check those video out whenever i say this i tend to always forget i just post and move on okay but then again i'm still going to try my best to see how i can actually um leave a card so that you guys can see the video or watch the video for yourself now silka is made with um papaya extract okay it's made with papaya extract the ripe papaya and the unripe papaya when i say this people love yeah but that's the best way to explain it so the green papaya and the yellow papaya is what was used to formulate this product this two different lotion but then again they are one and the same thing you want to lighten go for the yellow one you want to maintain your skin tone go for the green papaya that is the difference between these two okay i hope i'm explaining explaining this enough for you to be able to understand now if you want to use silka or you're already using silka you want to activate it you can as well activate it with glutacis comprime serum this glutacis serum is very very good it comes in two different variants in carrot extract and i think papaya extract i'm not sure but i'm just going to leave it on the screen so you guys can see if you are if this person that reacts to carrot please try not to go for the one that has the carrot or that is made with carrot extract because you're going to react definitely you're going to react okay so if you are um you know 
planning to use like for this person that asked me this question if you are actually using silk and you love the way it's acting on your skin i would advise you not to stop using it if you want to activate it in order to have a more lightening effect you can as well activate it with glutar c to get that more um lightening effect okay it's a very very good combo you want to lighten up with it use glutar c compound serum activated it. it's a concentrate serum so um it's not a serum that you can just meet side by side if not you're going to um you know you're going to overdo it if you mix it side by side i know i always say here on this channel that if you're using a serum is best used side by side but however this glutar c serum this glutar c compound serum is a concentrate serum it has a a, a, a thick consistency more like um different from other serum okay so so if you're using a water-based serum or an um, oil-based serum is understandable but this particular one is a concentrate serum so what you need to do is pour it in a jar that can last you for about two weeks try it on your skin i mean that way you're going to know if this will work on you or not okay but if you notice any irritation you can as well discontinue so when you're mixing it be careful not to use over of the serum because you have not tried it especially for those people who have not tried it you've never even mixed before be careful not to mix the serum more than the cream because if you do it that way you may not you, it, might, it might react on you okay so what you need to do is pour the serum into a bowl and then pour the cream the cream should be a little more than the serum so that that way it's um the serum will not react because there are so many concentrated serums out there that react back on the skin that gives you like um white patches and and uh, rough those black heads okay so what you need to do when mixing concentrated serums like this both pimentos carefree serum whatever serum that is concentrated try not to mix it too much so after two weeks you can now you know increase with the way you mix it i don't know if that makes any sense at all you're understanding me at all so that is the best way to mix a concentrated serum into a cream now on this go see you papaya i am sure that a lot of people actually liked that video which is why i keep getting questions about it but i'm sure after this one you people can now understand what, um how to as well use it and if you are using silica what you need to do if you don't know the soap to use it with because it also comes with the tablet so but then again if you're not um interested or you don't like the tablet so you can up um up for or uh, extract extract will really really go well with it so if you're using silica you use extract soap and then the glutar c that way and um, the glutar c comprime serum to um, activate your silica with that way you're going to have a perfect combo okay okay i think i have stress on this enough I, i'm sure you understand me glutar c um, cream is not a cream that you need to mix to me you don't have to mix it because that cream is is quite um deep so if you want to whiten up with glutar c try to go for the one that has like the four times whitening or it tastes like something like that try to go for that one because if you buy glutar c and you want to pro mix you may just have a reverse effect if you are buying glutar c or you want to start using glutar c one thing you should know is that it may give you one some type of reaction that's because of the vitamin c in it because some people react to vitamin c the very first time that's not because um the product is not good it is it is something you're trying to introduce into your skin that is why i say try not to mix it use it like that first and see how it work on you then if you don't like the way it is you can now advance to the one that has the kojic acid i don't know if this is clear enough now another person asked me a question about um what's this question again ask me a question about Ellen beauty that she is actually using Ellen beauty but then again she doesn't know what to um the soap to use it with um tablet soap to use it with like your web precise and that you have a sensitive skin now if you're looking out for tablet soaps to use with your lotion be it Ellen beauty be it whatever lotion you're using you can as well look out for extract extract is a very nice soap it does not cause harm to the skin it as well clears you know um blemishes pimples and it prevents it from even breaking out okay so um you can buy extract you can buy um koji acid it's very good especially on the face as well me i use black soap so i just don't um uh, i don't play around with tablet soap i can even play around with liquid soap but i don't play around with tablet soap like that okay you can use um um 
Kbrother tablet soap. That one is actually very good as well. You can as well use this is tablet soap that I used and it was very very good. But then again, I don't like the way it smells. So look out for just 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 play around with tablet soap. I'm going to dedicate a video to that one. So I just wanted to answer this because I'm going to you know make a video telling you guys what um uh, best tablet soaps to look out for because there are so many tablet soap that should not be used on the face and when you use them on the face you're going to regret it like you're going to break up because it's going to clock your pores so i'll definitely um i'll definitely make a video on tablet soaps you can actually try it i hope this helps you in a way do not forget to like share and subscribe and please promise me i'm definitely going to see you in my next one okay all right i love you guys a whole lot bye